Welcome to the third video of Reinforced Concrete. In this video, we're going to cover the first of three examples. I know in the last video, I said that uh, we will be covering three examples. And at the end of, the, of completing the three examples, we're going to take away some important notes and then determine which method, which one of the three methods is the most beneficial or the most preferred method now or the most uh, preferred configuration also one thing i want to add is that we in the last video i had the equation mr is equal to cr times d minus a over t over 2 which is right but this is also equal to mr can also equal to cr or tr times d minus a over 2 and we will see later in the video why uh, why this is pretty much the same thing so in this uh, example we have two rebars right this is a cross section of the beam which is right here so the cross section is over here with two rebars right so these are our two rebars, 25 M bars. And if we look at the back of our textbook, appendix A1, table A1, we will find that the diameter is equal to 25 millimeters and the area of one steel is equal to 500, right? So 500 millimeter squared of one steel, one steel. Now, the effective depth is given at 450 millimeters. So these are all the given information. Height is 500 millimeters and B is 400 millimeters. What's also given is that FC prime is equal to 25 MPA. So this is the type of concrete that will be placed on this beam and also FY is equal to 400 MPA and we have to state our assumptions that phi C is equal to 0.65 and phi S is equal to 0.85 now given all of this information we are asked to find MR the maximum moment that this beam can resist by having only two 25 M bars. So we're going to find out what MR is equal to, right? So before we find out MR, we need to find out TR, D, which is given, and A. So let's first find out T, TR, tension. Tension is equal to as you know it's uh, FY which is stress of the steel which is in uh, which is 400 MPA in Canada we use uh, this uh, I believe it's called grade 400 uh, steel which has 400 MPA strength times the area of steel total area of steel times the phi S which is equal to 400 MPA units are very important so we have MPA here and we have millimeter squared right 500 AS of one steel is 500 but we have two rebars right two rebars would be 1000 millimeter squared 500 times 2 times 0 0.85 and we have tension is equal to 340,000 newtons. MPA times millimeter squared will always give you newtons, but we want it in kilonewtons, so 340 kilonewtons. You can leave it to newtons, up to you. I prefer kilonewtons. So we found TR. Now we have to find A. Now A is equal to, where is A in any of the equations, right? A is uh, in the compression equation or the compression force equation. So we have CR is equal to the FC prime times 
phi c times alpha times alpha 1 times area which is a times b see we have our a here times b this is our compression force right and we want to find a how do we find a well fc is 25 mpa and phi c is a constant alpha 1 is a constant and b is 300 millimeter squared or 400 millimeter sorry not squared and we want to find a so how do we find a well we know that cr which so if we have a neutral axis here oops this is our neutral axis so cr is in the middle going in and tr is right here coming out right. cr and tr because it's a stable structure it's not accelerating or anything we know that CR is equal to TR right forces need to be equal to each other all all forces need to equal to zero or therefore CR is or CR minus TR so CR minus TR needs to equal to zero therefore CR is equal to TR right CR is going in and TR is coming out so they're canceling each other out therefore they're equal to each other because of this property we can say that tr is now equal to this equation over here therefore 340,000 newtons which is equal to 340,000 newtons 340 times 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 25 mpa times 0 0.65 times 0 0.8 times A times B All right and we and if we want to solve for A then we bring everything to the other side and we get 340 E3 divided by 25 times 0 0.65 times 0 0.8 times 400 millimeters because millimeters and this is in newtons remember we have to keep this in newtons in order to get our value in millimeters therefore a is equal to 65.4 millimeters or we can round it to 65 millimeters so what does this mean this means that if we have a rectangular cross section here then we have two rebars this is our D and our A is only this much 65 millimeters meaning with two rebars in our cross section our compression is only this much the rest is suffering from tension right or the rest is going through tension the rest of the area which makes sense right because you have two rebars and thereby uh, therefore you have if you had let's say 10 rebars then you your compression zone would be much bigger which we will see in the next example but in this example we have uh, a lower number of rebars therefore our tension zone is much greater than our compression zone so we have a is 65 now we want to now we have all the um, parameters to solve for our moment resistance mr is equal to 340,000 newtons times D is 450 I think yep 450 450 minus 65 over 2 right this is our 65 
over 2. So we want to find the our CR is that way and our TR is this way. TR times 65 over 2 or is D minus 65 over 2 which gives us 141.9 times 10 to the power of 6 Newton times millimeter but we want everything in kilonewton meter so 1 kilonewton meter is equal to 1 million newton millimeter so therefore our answer is if we round it up 142 kilonewton meter so by having two rebars in our cross section this beam this simply supported beam can withstand 142 kilonewton meter of moment in the next video we're going to try to calculate the moment resistance of 10 rebar configuration